Hi, I'm Susan Shalala. I'm a physical therapist with 27 years of experience, most recently focusing entirely on HSD and EDS. As a neurological specialist, I primarily treat patients with central nervous system compromise due to cervical instability. I established the Shalala Physical Therapy Institute for EDS and CCI, cervical instabilities, and work entirely with this population. Although my clinic is based in Charleston, South Carolina, I treat patients from all over the world. I developed the Finding Functional Foundations approach, applying principles of neuroplasticity to retraining movement and stability in patients with hypermobility. My patients following this approach have learned to effectively manage their instabilities. While the ultimate goal of the FFF approach is improving cervical stability, the process includes improving stability from the feet up, quite literally, finding functional foundations. In past years, many PTs have asked to learn my very successful approach, and I am delighted to be able to share it with you. Professor Leslie Russick is assisting me in developing teaching materials and in providing participants feedback during lab sessions. Professor Russick and I both contributed to the published consensus guidelines for treating upper cervical instability in patients with symptomatic hypermobility. During this course for practicing physical therapists, participants will apply principles of neuroplasticity to motor learning in people with HSD and HEDS, utilize biofeedback strategies to assist patients in developing stable alignment and movement patterns, and integrate safe movement patterns into functional activity training. Participants in a Zoom-based virtual course will learn by doing, by performing and instructing other participants in performing the neuroplasticity-based movement training. Sessions will have three components. Instruction using both live presentation and professionally created training videos. Hands-on lab sessions in which participants practicing the movement training and give feedback to partners performing the movements. Some lab sessions will include the full group, while others will use breakout groups of three to four participants. Case presentation and discussion, applying course contents. The series includes nine to hour sessions addressing posture, gait, finding neutral pelvis, using pressure gauge biofeedback, for lumbar, thoracic, and cervical stabilization, and head laser biofeedback and application to ADL, IADL, and other functional activities. Course participants will have access to my professionally created FFF training videos during the ECHO program. Participants who wish to get a certificate of completion in the FFF approach will complete an FFF care plan after the course is completed. In time, hopefully patients can look for clinicians trained in finding functional foundations and know that they are getting an effective treatment approach.